I adore meat. Um, I love frying it, grilling it, cooking it, devouring it. I have to have it. And plus, I think it's very good for the body. Some people don't eat meat or dairy. Others are vegetarian. Some people don't eat meat, but they eat fish. And some people just steer clear of everything. I, I just don't understand how people can palm off meat. Can't really get my head around it, but I'd like to find out. A vegan is someone who abstains from eating any animal products at all, so they don't eat meat like vegetarians, but nor will they have dairy, eggs, they won't wear leather, they won't use anything that involves the exploitation or use of animals. Well, what exactly do you eat if you don't eat anything, as it were? Very much the same things you do, but I just do them differently from how you would, so with, you know, obviously vegetables, everyone can eat. Um, vegetables are always vegan and most people should be eating vegetables and fruit too. Beyond that you've got your grains, your pulses, you've got things like bean curd, tofu, the more traditional meat substitutes and you've got ever increasingly realistic fake products as well. So you can get your fake cheese, you've got soy milk, oat milk, ice milk, quinoa milk, almond milk. There's so many foods that people never really explore kind of the western world anyway so there's no shortage of things out there to, to get your teeth around. Vegetarians will not eat meat but they still eat dairy and that's kind of, dairy's a sort of cast off from animals. What do you think of that? I suppose with vegetarians, it's a really easy link to make, sort of, you know, dead flesh, something's died for it. But with dairy, it's not such an easy link. And if anything, the way it's advertised, the way it's kind of turned into a consumer object does sort of disguise that. And it does take a bit of reading, a bit of savvy to sort of see through that. But the problem was, ultimately for me, that you start looking at the dairy industry and the practices involved, and it's no better, really. It's so closely linked to the meat industry. Every every kind of dairy calf out there, if, it, if it's male, it hasn't got an economic purpose, so it goes to the veal industry usually. If she's female, she's going to inherit the job as kind of a milk machine from her mum ultimately, and the milk's been stolen from baby calves, which ultimately, when I read all these bits and pieces, just didn't make any sense to me. It, it just didn't feel right, so I kind of took the next step and thought, well, if this is still exploiting animals, then, you know, yeah. vegan's going to be the way for me to go. Is it not bland, you know, all the, the lentils, the pulses, everything else? You've got to weigh up, even if it were to be bland, would it justify the practices that it inevitably involves if you're going to eat meat? But in terms of the taste, it really is whatever you make of it. If you want to have yourself a really spicy kind of casserole or curry, if you want your meat things, some of the fake stuff, you cannot tell the difference, it's as juicy. I've never eaten meat in my entire life because my parents were both vegetarian and they brought me up that way. Um, and they've kind of given me the choice all my life whether I wanted to eat meat or not. Reasons for being vegetarian have been the same for like a long time and one of the main reasons is because of health and I know that with vegetarians the rate of obesity is much much lower than with meat eaters and also uh, it's the same with other diseases like heart disease. You see the thing is meat is like a, a major part of my diet I can't imagine not eating it. So how do you balance yours? You do need to substitute meat with protein things. So there's like things like beans, yeah. nuts, um, uh, poulters. Like so, there are like you know so lentils and things like that. Um, so you do need to substitute with protein. But at the same time, like a vegetarian meal is very different to a meat meal. Whereas like a meat meal will be focusing on the actual meat and then have things with the meat. Vegetarian meal will be much more. You think about the whole meal. So. It's a, yeah, it's a different way of thinking. Do you ever feel like you're you're missing out on, on you know, wonderful tasting chicken or juicy beef or anything? I mean, it's you know all the, all the beans and all the pulses. It's just so dry. That's the thing about vegetarianism. You have to find different ways of preparing it and make them interesting. No one's quite sure about what a pescatarian is. Um, everybody knows what a vegetarian is. Of yeah. course, they just eat veg vegetables and mm -hmm. you know things that are grown from the soil. But a um, pescatarian is we all eat all of that stuff, and we but we eat fish. Some of us um, eat shellfish. Um, I do, um, but we have no meat at all. As I was growing up. We have a heavy meat eating culture because I'm from an African background and it's lots of chicken and lamb and cow's foot and every kind of meat that you could ever imagine. And then I turned about 
uh, 19 and I just thought you know what I'm not feeling too well um, I was slightly overweight as well and I thought you know what I'm just gonna try just eating fish and so um, I did it for a few months and I felt fantastic and I glowed and so I just carried on basically would you would you consider like fish to be a meat because that's what I've always wondered it's kind of it, mm, no not really it was kind of borderline the only things that are the same is that they're both um, proteins but with fish I think it's more natural you know the resource aren't going to run down or deplete as much and it's cheaper um, and there isn't any ethical side okay yes something is living and it, it dies so you can eat it but it's not like you know the slaughtering and conditions that a lot of animals are kept in and farmed and weird it's, it's more of a natural state of um, being for um, eating fish I think you could just have a really good di diet with a little bit of vegetables and fish but I like to have beans and pulses because I'm very active and so if you're a very active person you're going to gym I run you know I dance so I need to make sure that I'm you know all my food bases are covered um, and that will be a substitute as adding in beans and you know lentils pulses rices you know just to add with the with the fish as well what, what about the uh, the taste the way you cook it, you can grill it, you can fry it, roast it, you know, put it in a casserole. There are so many options for you and your fish will not taste the same. Tuck in and enjoy. It's like it's creamy and it's it's nice. See, I told you, it's the way forward. <laughs> that is quite nice. Let's eat. And that's the problem, because um, as much as I like meat, some vegetarian food's quite just lovely. Oh my God. Okay, shocked springs to mind. Um, because it's just as, um, it's just as, I don't know, it's just as good as a chocolate cake. I've definitely not been converted at all. Um, I still like meat. We've met them all today. You can't change anyone's opinions. Um, today clearly proves that everyone has got their own views on what they eat. Each to their own. Right now, I think I'll go for some sausage and mash. Oh, it's beautiful. Huh?